This is the enabled electronic warfare complex of the enemy, and this is the Atlas Pro drone, which can fly in jamming conditions. I will instruct you on how to successfully evade jamming and aim artillery at the enemy. First, you need to scan the frequencies to find out which ones the enemy is using. Turn on the Atlas station, open the Atlas Mesh console, and remember the remote IP. Paste it in the Safari browser. You will see this authorization form. Log in. Select Atlas Spectral Scanner from the menu. Scan the frequencies. You will learn in which range the enemy's EW is working. And you can choose other frequencies for your mission. You see free frequencies. The frequencies on which the enemy EW works, appear red or dark red. These frequencies shouldn't be used for a mission. Other ones are green or blue in color. Remember this range. These frequencies are most suitable for safe flying and for aggravating the enemy. Go to the Atlas Mesh console and make sure that the connection between the Atlas station and the drone is stable. The green color indicates that everything is okay. Now, to the mission. Open the security and any countermeasures menu. Next, set up quick frequency hopping. Choose 16 frequencies from the green or blue options that you noted earlier. Choose a wide range and don't grab neighboring frequencies. And don't get excited about frequency 2.4. This is a civilian frequency. In the window on the left, you will see the selected frequencies on which you will fly. Shuffle them. Or if necessary, remove. Next, go to the first tab, the Atlas Mesh console and turn on quick hopping by pressing the button in the upper right corner. The frequency hopping function must be turned on immediately before takeoff. Now the connection between the Atlas station and the drone is secured. However, you should still be ready for manual control in case of satellite jamming. 